word abundance has a big role in my life because I like to think in abundance. I don't like to think in scarcity. I believe that what you think about, you bring about. The brush stroke and the energy, that's this abundance of energy that I sense when I'm outside. My way of expressing that in a painting is through movement with brush strokes. My studio is out here, kind of on the edge of town in North Portland. The river, the industry, the animals, all of it impacts what I'm doing inside the studio. I had had this conversation with a friend about abundance. The next day I'm coming over the St. John's Bridge and there's this enormous orange boat. It, it was just visually outstanding. The name of the ship was Abundance. It was from France. And I came home, I took a bunch of pictures and painted the barge. These ships are coming from all over the place. They are bringing things in, they're taking things out. The river is the lifeline. One of my first installations was called Loves Me. I stitched little pieces of paper to attach to a piece of rope that I made. And then they all hung together like these prayer flags. And it was based on the flower plucking activity, loves me, loves me not. And I just wanted it to land on loves me so you always knew you were loved. Being out here, so close to the river, you don't hear these the sounds that I hear out here when you're in inner Portland. That's a different audio experience. Four years ago, I started using my phone to record all the different sounds, the owls, the crows, the foghorns, the ship horns, everything that was unique to this area so that I could use that at some point in one of my installations. And I eventually did. So the way that I sort of visually see it is the St. John's Bridge out here is sort of the portal, the entrance and exit into Portland. I feel like the Rood Family Pavilion is the bookend to this because there's not a lot of large boats that are gonna go past that. The Rood Family Pavilion is owned by OHSU and it's in collaboration with the Ronald McDonald House. My work there is on the seventh floor commons and the 10th and 11th floor. We have had family members that have had to use the Ronald McDonald House at points in our life. And so it felt like a little bit I could pay back some of that. I always wanted to feel like I was in a really good place when I came into the studio to do that work because I wanted really good energy. people that are in those circumstances, they need something to feel good. One of my latest exhibits is the State Flowers of the United States, and that is in Concourse B at the Portland Airport. There's 50 paintings of each state flower of the United States of America. I had received a small packet of wildflowers as a gift, and I had just tossed them out in the garden, and the first one that popped was the California poppy. I just did this painting, and I liked it so much, I thought, oh, maybe I'll do Oregon grape next. 
It was this little incident that inspired this domino effect. We have millions of travelers a year, tens of millions, and um, the work has been so widely well received because it's so interactive and something that all peoples from all places can relate to. And even if they're not from the United States, there's a bouquet of all of us there. And I wanna feel like we're welcoming to all these people that are traveling. I'm currently working on a new body of work that's animal-centric. I started with doing a bunch of little individual animals just to start getting into the feel of what I wanted to do with them. And then I started to put them all into this bigger painting, sort of a Noah's Ark type of situation because of the barges and the ships out there on the river that I see all the time. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to bring them into one vessel I'm really bringing the animals into being in the spotlight right now. So there's this interaction between the industry and nature. And as I'm watching it, I'm wanting to know how we respect that, how we respect the industry, we need it, and how we respect the animals. We are on their territory. We moved into this area. We moved into where the animals are. But of course, you just want to see everything to continue to flourish and live together. That's the ultimate goal.